Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Canon PowerShot SX20IS. It was originally released in 2009, just about a year after the SX10IS that I reviewed earlier. It's really, really similar to the SX10. They added HD video and they upped the sensor resolution to 12 megapixels. Other than that, it's pretty much the identical camera. Um, it's really 12.1 megapixels, it's 6 point something by about 4.5 millimeters. It's a CCD sensor, not CMOS. Uh, this has the same, exact same lens. Uh, it's f2.8 at its widest and the maximum aperture is f.7 at uh, t its maximum telephoto. It's 5 to 100 millimeters. It's equivalent to 28 to 560 millimeters on a 35 millimeter body. So it's got quite a uh, zoom range. Like the SX10, this will do macro down to zero inches. It can focus if something is touching the front of the lens. The shutter uh, is from 1 3200th of a second, so nice and fast, to 15 seconds, pretty nice and long. ISO, um, in a lot of the scene modes, or if you're in green, set to automatic, uh, it's auto. Its native ISO is 80. Uh, it's settable to 100, 200, 400, 800, and 1600. Uh, at a slightly lower resolution, and I honestly can't remember which mode, it'll do ISO 3200. But just like its predecessor, once you're around ISO 800, uh, you get a lot of sensor noise because, you know, the uh, CCD is pretty small. Uh, it does programmed auto exposure, uh, shutter priority, aperture priority. You can set it to full manual. Uh, it has a boatload of scene modes, some of them selectable from the dial, sports mode, things like that. You can do exposure compensation, plus or minus two exposure value values. In third stop steps, the uh, video is 720p HD. It records in uh, H.264 format. There's a dedicated movie button here with the red on it that just toggles it off and on. Uh, the microphone in this is stereo, so that's pretty sweet. And there's a decent wind filter. Uh, I could have used that a few times in the past where you're catching, up, catching the wind audio in the videos that I've done. Has a two and a half inch articulating LCD. Um, the articulating you know, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but uh, some of the pictures that I shot recently, I was up above the crowds trying to shoot like that. So it was nice to switch to the big LCD and tilt it down towards myself. Um, it also has a uh, electronic viewfinder like the SX10. It has a nice diopter and I've gotten to the point where I really appreciate that. Um, the flash, uh, like the SX10, it'll tell you when it wants it, but it's not going to pop it up and force it on you. So you can force high ISO, even auto mode. Nice thing about it, like the SX10, it won't pop it up automatically and force it on you. So if you're in a museum or something and you just flat out can't use flash, you can force it even in auto mode. It'll go to a higher ISO, you're going to get some more noise, and it'll go to a long shutter speed, so you better be braced or have a tripod. But you can take those kind of shots and it won't fire the flash. Uh, the shoe here, the extra contacts, it's compatible with the Canon EX and EX2 series flashes so they can do through the lens metering. It's pretty nice. The flash throws it out there. It's actually reading the light that's hitting the sensor and when it's got enough 
Tells the camera body, okay, close the shutter. Over here's the uh, SD card. Um, I don't remember the maximum size, but I'll pop some big ones in here. It's got a 16 gig uh, card in here right now. Under this other door, uh, it has a mini HDMI connector and USB 2.0. I usually use a card reader, but it's nice to have the fast USB if you just want to suck them off onto the computer. Um, like the SX10, great travel camera, four AA batteries. The model after this, the SX30, they went to a rechargeable battery. Plus and minus is you tend to get a lot better power density out of a rechargeable battery, but if it's dead and you're out on safari or something, it's dead. Double A's, you can find them anywhere. Um, I originally wanted one of these when we did a trip to Tanzania in 2009. I was shooting with an old Nikon L100. 10 megapixel, really good camera, no viewfinder, that drives me a little bit crazy. And a friend of mine brought an SX20. I got one, uh, shot with it on a whale watching trip down in Baja, but then it was stolen. Uh, that's when I found a great deal and uh, got the SX10. And I got this for my girlfriend. It is a great travel camera. If you're not a camera nut, you can leave it on auto and your vacation pictures won't suck. And you get that crazy 560 millimeter zoom reach. You get nice wide angle for uh, landscapes. And even if you're, you know, a professional photographer or kind of a prosumer level amateur, this is a great backup. If your main body gets damaged, stolen, you run out of battery juice or something, pop this guy out, you won't be disappointed. This is a really, really good travel camera. So my girlfriend let me use it. I'll show you some shots here at the end, and I'll see you then.